Hello, welcome to TFLP Microcasters. I'm Lucas, and I'm joined tonight by Christian. What up? And Anna. Good evening. Hey. So, tonight, uh, we're doing another Dinobot. Um, so, yeah. We, we were going to do it last week, but then uh, Anna couldn't make it, so we postponed it this week. So I was sick. I had a legitimate reason. The hey, slag you can still show up not. when you're sick, right? In some cases, uh, yes. In other cases, no. Hmm. But tonight, we're not here to talk about health. We're here to talk about wealth. Because we are wealthy and Dinobots. And uh, it, it's interesting, like, with the distribution of, of all of these guys, because it's been like a slow trickle of the different, like, you know, places and whatnot. So I don't, I can't remember if Hasbro Pulse has actually shipped this yet. I Dude, I've had so. Max lag for two months. I don't know what took you guys so long. And then, yeah, so like Walmart got it initially. Right. Target got it initially. Or no, I'm sorry, Target. Target got initially, then Walmart, then Target's gotten more, so and apparently GameStop has not gotten theirs, so it's kind of but I feel like this is kind of the story for everyone. Uh, mine was a GameStop of, one though, and mine did come. Oh well there you go. Yeah, GameStop so. ran out during that sale. So they should be getting more. Yeah. And Amazon has not shipped their shipment yet. Yeah. It's all over the be, place right now, which is kind of like a thing. Or you could get like an early Galvatron and have the misassembled shoulders, so there you go. I did. Then I flipped them around, and it was okay. We had a show about that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So. Anyway, um, on to this guy. I don't know which mode we want to talk about first. Dinosaur. Dinosaur. dinosaur since you guys are both in dinosaur mode. Yeah. yeah. Mine can fly. Christians can't. Pretty good looking dinosaur. Mine has a boy, though, so... Yours, yours is plagued, plagued with a little boy. Actually, Our, yours is plagued with a little pooping spaceman. There's no real proof of who it is. Yeah, we don't know yeah. who it is. There's no. Uh, I, I mean, on the box pooping, it but... says Daniel. It does. Oh, it does. Well, there you go. It's like the same as Wheelie. I can't tell if they've actually reused any parts. I don't think they have, but it's the same. So, but it's it's the same, the same design. Deal. I guess if we really want to start with this thing, yes, this is the accessory figure we yeah, get this time. And he you know looks what? like he's I've, pooping. It, it's good to get exosuits. This is better than the Buzzworthy Bumblebee exosuit. It actually is. <laughs> but you know, just like the Wheelie, it doesn't actually have knees. That Ben it does have a cool paint operation here, which is neat. Good yeah. to have. But I am looking forward to the day I buy another fifty dollar DNA kit and they fix this. So, I, I kind of wish that like I think really if I could just have knees like that would, I think that would that be, would really do it. That, that would, would take really care of just it. be it. I, I don't know why. Even though they wouldn't transform to an alt mode, you know, Wheelie and Daniel both. If they had knees, that's fine. Yeah. They don't have knees. Yeah. So, oh, well. they're neat. I've always wanted toys of exosuits. I'm hoping I can get you know a nicer one at some point. Either through DNA or through the Hasbro release that's coming next year. Yeah, it's funny because there's nothing wrong with the sculpt. It's just not a very functional item, yeah. just like the wheelie. The sculpt is right and, and to me, it's a little worse than the wheelie because I don't feel like this recreates any iconic scenes. I feel like this is just, it's just included with them, right? Like, I can't remember any iconic scenes with Daniel in the exosuit writing on slag slash slug. Like, or Grimlock. Yeah. Or yeah, it just doesn't ring a bell. I don't think Daniel curious. or Spike hang out with the Dinobots at any point in the movie. No, so, you know, the, the wheelie recreates something fun. You know, it recreates him riding on Grimlock and shooting his slingshot. And that's like this cute kid appeal scene from the movie. This emulates nothing. It's just a yeah, it's... ugly little pooping spaceman. It's kind of similar to when the studio series Shockwave, which is a live action release, came with the figures of Wheelie and Brains. Like Shockwave and Wheelie and Brains don't interact ever, but they threw it in there because you know Wheelie and Brains have to go somewhere. They were small enough and they were slug figures, so they don't have to do much because they're you know, teeny tiny characters. That was fine. But this feels, the, the Daniel figure feels weird to throw in here for that reason because 
Well, and it's it's not a slug figure. It is actually articulated, but it's not articulated enough. And it's not like we're. It's weird to me because it's not like we need it to push this up to feeling like it should cost leader price points. Right. Take right. Like out. this is a, this is a big board. figure. Yeah. This is a featured figure. This is an interesting figure. It's a desired figure. So I don't quite understand why they got the carry on boys. Eh, whatever. Or if you get rid of the, you know, the accessory boys and <coughs> include the swords Sword. that are missing from this release. So that's that's right. probably the same amount of plastic and it's not articulated, so less engineering. I don't know. I would prefer that. The wheelie was cool for the reasons Anna stated. This feels you know, it's neat, but it doesn't need to be here. I'm I'm curious what other figures are gonna come with the other Dinobots. Yeah, me too. I feel I mean, like I guess- now because we've gotten two, we have to get all five with a friend. I mean, Spike makes sense. It'll just be another one of these. But beyond that, I don't know. Yeah. Well. Yeah, who knows? They can get inventive and come well, up with fun can, stuff. If they can not give one to Sludge and make him a little bit extra big, that would be cool. Or not give one to Swoop and give him all the swords. Hey, that's an idea that someone else had. Is it? Yes. Uh, I mean, I suppose, so Catherine asks if the figure makes it a more kid-friendly toy, and yeah, I mean, I guess that it gives you something else to play with. I guess, but like, I don't know. We've never seen this with any other Transformers. Like, they don't don't need extras to be kid-friendly, I don't think. No. It's it's an an unusual move. Not quite sure what it's for, but it's fine. Like, it's inoffensive, you know, like, just like I said with the wheelie, it's like you can dislike it, you can hate it, you can throw it, you can put it in the trash directly, you can eat it. It doesn't matter <laughs> because you still get your you still get your slag slash slug. Right, and that's what everyone's here for. I mean, if you are just here for the Daniel figure or for the wheelie figure, I want to talk to you because you seem like a really interesting person. But I think <laughs> most of us are in it for the Dinobots. Yes. And I, I put mine like this just because I always had, as a kid, I always had him open so he could fly. Because I always like flying, flying dinosaurs. But I put mine like this because this is what he looks like. I I just like when I can recreate <laughs> the silly things I did as a child. No, that's that's wonderful. I did not have a flag until Power of the Primes, and now this one. In flawless, fun little ways. I, I tell you what, like, Power of the Primes, I mean, I don't know. When it first came out, I didn't really mind the figures, you know? Like, they weren't fantastic, but they they were fine. I was like, but this is, like, I mean, such, like, it's not even close. Like, I don't think. It's really not. There's, like, there's never been a jump in, like, quality or whatever between releases like this. Like, I, like, I feel like it's just not even close. The only other one that's like this would be Grimlock. Right. Yeah. Right. That, uh, I mean, the Dinobots. Oh, you're talking about Dinobots as Jin. Yeah. yeah. Okay. From the yeah. last time we got them. But, like, definitely Slug, though, too, because there's more, there's more Grimlocks out there than there are uh, Slugs. True. There's yes, and that's of kind of why he stands out to me, because he, like... I don't know. It just means more to me that we just got a good one because it's like there are other good Grimlocks. There aren't really as there aren't really a lot of Grimlocks I think are as good as the Studio Series one, but there are other good ones. There aren't really other good slags, so this is it. This is what we get. And what a what a thing to get, <clears throat> right? I mean, I guess right. we're spoiling the end of our show here, but like I'm pretty sure we all love this toy. I like it a lot. Yeah. It's Get a nice the, little dinosaur I mean, hat. Again, like, these figures, the Dinobots, I feel like, are the best leader class figures that we've gotten in, like, forever. I, I don't know. I mean, just the, the size, the, you know, just the look, all, all that type of thing. I mean, they're just, it, it's absolutely fantastic. I find it slightly interesting that they went for something that is between the, the toy look and the cartoon look. Because, you know, it's not nearly plain enough to be the cartoon look, but it's not nearly, it doesn't have enough gold highlights to be the toy either. So it's kind of in between. 
<clears throat> which makes it interesting. And I've always liked when they did that. This is the kind of thing that they used to do on the second round of Masterpiece, the round that I really liked. It's a combination of bits that came before it. Yeah. And it's yeah, just, I mean, it pulls I don't know it would so fit well. in. I mean, like, like if this... they just did it, if they made every the the figure just completely like plain and whatnot, looking like the animation, I don't know that it would like come across as well in in like three dimensions. No, probably not. I think that's probably what they changed it. I think he pulls off having the kind of like I always thought that for some reason in the cartoon he had a cute face as a dinosaur. And I think it pulled off a kind of cute cartoony face enough that it works for me. It's a very cute face. Like it looks happy. It looks like it's a happy, goofy little beautiful dinosaur. Beautiful painted eyes too. Yep. I mean that yep. I mean that blue paint operation there is fantastic. It's like metallic, but not quite all the way metallic, but it shines enough. It's whatever they used is great. Great color. And even a notch for a blast effect in the mouth. Ooh. <laughs> Yay. Hey, if there's going to be one blast effect that's entirely right. character appropriate, you're correct. Having a fire effect in this little monster is a good idea. You're right. So yeah. one of the things that, I'm oh, sorry. Go ahead. No, I was you, just going to say. Go ahead. Okay. So just like to review his dinosaur mode because it doesn't do much, right? Like it's never going to move a whole lot. It's got a little bit of movement. In the back legs, the front legs are his arms, so they kind of move, but in the wrong ways. His mouth opens and closes. That's about it. One of the things that really stands out that surprised me about this toy that I did not expect was the tell. I did not expect to have the tell be the gun, right? Like, I was just, when I was playing with it and I transformed it, I was like, where the hell is the end of his tell at? It couldn't possibly be his gun. That would be different and new. And then suddenly it was. I think it pulls it off well. <laughs> it, yeah. It's okay. Yeah, it's not bad. It does a color change, but... I mean, I think it looks good. I think it's better. I like it better than Grimlock. Like, I just don't like the way that the Grimlock is where it has to be sideways and all that. Like, mm -hmm. if they made the Grimlock to where the gun went, like, you know, front ways, like front to back or whatever, like, I think it would be better, but... Yeah, like, I just don't like that as much. But I think this, like, actually looks pretty good to me. It just surprises me because typically Studio Series isn't the time that we innovate or change the design or update the design. And here we are, like, coming up with a new way to do him where we put his gun as part of his tell. You know, I don't think we played that game before with him particularly. So it's it's surprising to me. Like, I think it's a good thing. Like, I want to say it's a positive but I have a feeling like some people might not like it just because it's different than the original toy and the original look of them having it all gold tell. Wiggle, wiggle. I think the color change is a worthy sacrifice. It blends into the sculpt really well. And it does. we get weapon storage, which is always a plus. Yeah. Weapon storage is great. I mean, there, there's a little bit of, you know, kind of gaps in the back of the legs, but again, mm -hmm. like, Who's going to display their figure from the back? And personally, I think the back legs suffer all around. Like, I, the yeah. back legs are, you know, the front legs look good. The back legs look okay. You know, but like, they, they do their job. They do it that way because they do a really cool thing for robot mode. <laughs> yes, that is true. They do a really cool thing for robot mode. And that is nice. But I am really curious what our loyal upgrade kit people will come up with when they get around to this. Because I think that the dinosaur mode could use a little TLC. You know, you could do some things like work on these back legs or play with the horns or whatever. So I'm really curious what people will come up with when they do this. I don't think they can add anything to the robot mode, but that's spoilers. I guess we should move on to robot mode. Yeah, I'm fine with that. That's so good. I'm, look, I haven't had this out in a while because I've had it for so long now that it's just been in my display case for a little bit. And I'm, I've pulled it down for this review. I'm just looking at it and it's so good. I mean, the, even the gold here is the perfect shade of gold. It's, I mean, I hope I never chip it because it looks so good. Yeah. But again, it's just nice. I think it's another interesting choice that it's gold instead of yellow. 
because these are the studio like the series. Perfect... These are the screen accurates. I don't know. So some of the um, third party like Legends figures had yellow for the figures and whatnot. Mm-hmm. And I don't think it looks as nice as this. Like it, I didn't being really garish. Yeah. Yeah. Like I think that this is just absolutely perfect where it's like the perfect shade of gold that kind of just pulls off it's just like the between both you know animation and, and whatever I, so. I don't think you know like this yellow would have worked right again i'm not complaining i'm just saying it surprises yeah. me because i'm used you to them just being like right. accurate 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 that's all we should do and instead they're like nah let's let's kind of improve it a little bit you're right it is a weird place to see that, but I'm grateful for it. Um, but yeah, on, but the, Lucas already the, has his I was going to say, the uh, robot mode. He started off. So, um, you know, here we go. I, I don't know. Again, like, I just really like this because, you know, kind of like you said, it's a mix of both. And that was kind of my, my favorite era of Masterpiece. And it's it's visually interesting, um and but I, I really like having like the white legs and um you know the little paint effects like on the knees like i think that that's a really nice look um what do you guys think about the head like do you like having the red head or would you prefer black i go for red I i'm gonna like having both red. options once we get the upgrade heads yeah that's fair that's fair because i i I typically do prefer the black head, but I don't hate this one. So I don't know which I'll end up with. Like, I'm almost certain as soon as upgrade kids come out, I'll have both. Like, I'm almost certain they'll provide me with one sooner or later. So we'll just see. I mean, which the hell is, like is painted really nicely. Um, so it looks, it looks good. Yeah, it totally is. While I'm doing this stuff, I do want to show it off. Remember we said the legs, the, ro- the beast mode legs do a really cool thing for rope mode? So here they go. I folded them up into each other. And then they go bloop inside so that there's no gap in the robot mode leg. I think we, we've we seen this on, and, and I don't know, like I've owned so many third-party Dinobots at this point. I th- you haven't have. we seen that transformation from like those masterpiece or whatever, those third parties. I feel like we've seen uh, it. We just... It's similar to the fans towards transformation. Yeah. But again, like it's great. Like that's a great, great thing to do. Um, yep. so yeah, like, I mean, it's, it fills in the gaps like perfectly. Um, and again, like, I don't know. I mean, just kind of the way that they did the detailing, I think like looks really good, even though, like, there's no paint on there. I don't know. It just, it just looks good to me. Yeah, I think so. So. Yeah, the unfortunate know, Anna, part you, is you've, got, you've got your wrist, uh, wrist swivel. So. I do, eventually. Once I remember how to get any of this thing done. Um... So. I've only ever transformed them once, so I don't really remember them very well. The shoulders and, I, I mean, don't remember. The other thing too is is like to note again, like there's um, they have an extra little piece in the arm, so that there's like a little more of what like it fills the arm out a little bit more, like um, in the back. I think did they do that with Grimlock too? I think. I know there's a couple figures where it seems like they've kind of like filled in, you know, put put something so that it's not just like whatever, a huge gap. I think they did it with Grimlock as well. Yeah, I don't so much remember. I don't think I've played with Grimlock since I put him back up either. Collectors yeah. always looking for the new shiny thing. I know it's just a tragedy, right? Because we could have, we could enjoy it so much more. But again, like you know, the guy has, um, you know, the um, waist swivel. Um, you know, pretty much like that's essentially the standard at this point. Um, so. 
Yes, he has waist swivel. He has the wrist. He has ankle tilt. Yeah, the I mean the head has pretty good articulation too. Like you know you can get up and down side to side, so it has pretty much all that. Um, again, like we said, with I mean and partially due to transformation, but the ankles, um, you know, uh, can move out. There's tilt. Um, I guess there's not ankle rocker, um, right? So, but I don't know. Whatever. There is a really interesting thing with the hands. I feel like these hands are designed to carry really heavy things because the way they transform, they do not go back into the beast mode. Paws, hooves, legs, feet, without rotating them 180 degrees. You see, so okay. now his, hand, his robot hand is upside down and it can go back in. But when his robot hand is right side up, they will not collapse. So now right side up, it only goes in that far. So if you have him holding, you know, a colossal sword or something, um, it'll never fall down. It's a, I think it's a clever piece of engineering that I hope gets utilized by an accessory pack down the line. Christian, how do you do the chest? I don't remember. Can you show you me to, real fast? It together. Yeah. <clears throat> you take it down like that? You can pull that down? Yeah. Uh, okay. See, I just couldn't pull hard enough. That's always my problem. And the yeah, shoulder there's... bits are on double hinges that go in and out. Okay, awesome. Yes. It gets, it gets looser the more that you mess with it. Like, I had trouble the first time transforming it, too, of, like, when I pulled the chest down and then had to put push it together it was, it was yeah i was it. trying to pull the chest out i just couldn't put, put that much force on it without knowing like, it actually what I'm moves. supposed to do Lucas, did you know that he has double jointed knees i think i said that okay cool i was transforming at that time so i wanted to note it if you did not yep yeah it has double double jointed, jointed knees, knees. And, it's like, and it's filled in too um so it's just it, I mean, okay, this is Studio Series, right? So we know it's going to look the part, but man, it looks the part so well. Like this is this is the perfect slag. I mean, it, the it, thing it is, especially is, bot mode. Especially bot mode. I I would say you know obviously in um, you know there's a there's a couple things with like the rear legs and whatnot, but like I mean you know whatever. But I, I for the most part. I mean, it's pretty close to the fans' toy. Like, if you took the fans' toys versions of these Dinobots and made them mainline, like this is pretty much what we're getting, essentially. Um, I mean, I agree with that. I had all the fans' toys ones. They are excellent, excellent figures. I sold them when I needed to make you know a couple months of rent, and I did that with them, which was awesome. This is fifty dollars, not you know one hundred eighty dollars or two fifty dollars, whatever. The score you was going for at that time. Yeah, it's from what I. It's fifty dollars and it's the same level of quality. Obviously, it's a little bit smaller. It doesn't have the die cast. It doesn't have the chrome. The paint is a little bit less. But I don't feel like I've lost anything for getting this instead of Scoria. If anything, I feel like this is much better value. Value, I'll give you definitely. These definitely have value to them. Yeah, so, I mean, I, I would definitely say that, I mean, you know, to be honest, this is probably, you know, up there. It Like, th this is going to make a top ten list, definitely, for... It's online. Know, for sure, it's online. ...of the year. Like, I mean, I don't, I don't want to necessarily say it's like... I haven't went through to see, like, what my top figure is going to be for the year. Um, but, I mean, this is definitely up there. But yeah, we're three quarters of the way through. It's like for me, it's this Grimlock or Studio Series Hot Rod. Yeah, right. yeah, those are all pretty pretty highlighty. Right. They are really highlight. It's been a good year. Yeah, yeah, they're all pretty much about the same level. Yeah, I'd say there's going to be a, a pretty big tie between him and Grimlock. Honestly, <laughs> really, if if the other three Dinobots continue this trend, they can't arrive fast enough. Yep. And you know what? If they wanted to charge, like, 
At this point, I would just pay money for the other three. Fifty dollars, sixty dollars, eighty dollars. What? Okay, fine. That's the retail price. Fine. They're amazing. I will buy them. Please just give them to me. If every transformer was made to this level of quality and care, I would be happy forever. And you guys know that I'm usually happy anyway. Right. Right. And then you'd be happier. I would be happier. I'd be fix mine. Yeah, I, I don't. So I think you know <clears throat> the way I feel about having Ingram like both is just that you know I can. I can nag and complain and point out the, you know, goods and bads of the dinosaur modes on both of them. I really can't do much on the robot modes. Like, there's not a whole lot to say that I would improve on the robot modes. These are more or less perfect generations level robot modes. That And that's just something we don't often get with Dinobots. We often get more love and care to the dinosaur mode than we do the robot mode. So I really like to have a, like, robot mode display set. I'm really excited for that. I feel like this is the first time I'll ever put them in the robot mode and be like, ah, this set looks, they're in their superior mode now. I've really heavily been considering getting two sets or one for bot and one for dino mode. The only thing that has kept me back is our good friend, Peter, the Destron. He believes that there will be some sort of premium set with chromey colors later on. I don't know about like, premium, well, nice. but, you know, there's there's the opportunity that they could do diaclone colors, they could do like chromey colors, they could I do G2 buy G2 colors. colors. I buy shattered glass colors. I buy them all. You want to see me buy, you know, a $250 subline of Transformers like four times? So do it. <laughs> yeah, yeah probably. Swoop is a leader class. I hope so. Probably a safe assumption. I mean, he's probably either going to be a leader class or a slightly smaller than leader figure that comes with something bigger than the others have. That's why you and I have both said this now, that if he comes with the swords for everybody else, I mean, that makes up that value. But also, he has to have really large wings. I mean, that's a lot of plastic. That is I true. Know. I mean, I so, could potentially see him as a Voyager. Like, I think it, poten- I think it really just kind of depends on how they're slotting in like the figures for that wave you the know thing, Cause, I, don't know. I don't want to swoop to be sh- like shorter than the rest of the dinobots except for grimlock and sludge because like generally he's not he's small but he's like slighter than the other dinobots but he's yeah. not like shorter than them yeah. but if they did something similar to uh what they're doing with that uh king star scream i, I think that's great that. I, I, yep. I could see them doing that I don't know if I'm going to end up with King Star Scream, but I do like the premise. The premise is Especially good. when you put I it to the throne. I'm, the I'm, throne excited. Is like, I'm cool. excited for the throne, the throne made and the accessories. Me. I mean, how many times do I like get $50 accessory kits anyway? So it's like, whatever. You're right. Like, I'm, I'm excited for that. I like the new de- the updated deco and, and all that. So I'm, I'm excited. You know what? Maybe they'll include the throne again with Swoop and it's Grimlock's throne. Oh, I, you know what? I think that they'll probably do something like that. Actually. That's, I mean, it's not a, it's not a movie accessory, so maybe they'll release it in Legacy or something. Legacy Leader Swoop, and it has the, right. the redeco of yeah. that throne. And it's Grimlock's throne. I don't know. But I really liked... So the Fans Project um, Dinobots, the Grimlock, you could get him with a throne, and all of the swords could. could plug into the throne. And, like, mm-hmm. I would love to see something like that. They were going for a look with the fans' project stuff, though. And it, it worked really well with that look. It did. Yeah. I, all I'm ago. saying is that, Hasbro, you've got my application on file. <laughs> yeah, I'm just really happy to be excited about these guys. You know, like, I when I heard that there were going to be more... More Dinobot figures. I just expected big leader figures that I didn't want. <laughs> I really expected to be bored. And I'm not bored at all. You know, every once in a while I get a figure and I'll just be like, wow, this is like the version of that toy I wanted. And it's not an MP. It's not a fancy third party. It's just the leader class. And I'm happy for that. 
positive, positive thinking tonight. Absolutely go out and buy this as soon as you can. Huh. I would say I would this say. and Grimlock both, like, I mean, by far. You yes, know. Do, do not sleep on them. Just one, They though. will sell. Just one each, because they might get repaints. They might get repaints. It, every time I see, it, like, the GameStop sale really tempted me to get another one. I was like, oh, should I do it? Should I not do it? I'm not A doing it for now. A lot of people think that they won't repaint these because they're too big. I think if they're willing to make the Toy Deco Galvatron, that they'll do something with these guys. Yeah. Again, I, I will buy the G2 colorways. I'll buy all of the G2 colorways except for the gray G2 Grimlock because that looks the same as G1 Grimlock. But, like, the green one, or the, the blue one, I'll take the, the Digimon Greymon one that didn't get made, it's, like, orange... There's like a swoop, a swoop that didn't happen. There's like, how many snarls are there? Two snarls. There's a slag or two or something. Anyway, give them, just bring them. I'll buy them all. Put them up on Hazlab and crowdfund them each. And like, okay, they're sixty five dollars <laughs> now, and we need like ten thousand people to order them. Yeah, you know who's gonna order ten thousand of them? Me. That's not true. Don't hold me to that. But still. <laughs> <laughs> Don't order ten thousand, Christian. Will, Don't order ten thousand. So. I mean, I'm pretty I'm excited. Buy a house and make my house out of you know ten thousand boxed G2 Dinobots. Uh, I'm pretty excited that the uh, Star Saber has lab looks like it's doing pretty well. So I feel like this is pretty much gonna be like the way we're gonna get a lot of these Japanese Transformers. I think. I think they should be crowdfunding anything at this price. All right, well, um, book club this week is going to be More Than Meets the Eye 48 to 49. Um, so check that out. That is going to be Sunday night at 9.30 Eastern, 8.30 Central on the TF Talk Discord. Um, It'll be fun. Join us. Uh, yep. <coughs> but, yeah, because I don't have anything else. Oh, we do have one other thing to announce. Or not announce, it's not our thing to announce. Do remember that tomorrow at some sort of time on Target, there's some sort of Transformers launch. Oh, yeah. It's probably Road Rage. Yeah, it gonna, may also it be that Blue Blue Streak. Assuming I'm not convinced that Blue Blue Streak will go there, but yes, yeah. Road Rage. Yeah, Road Rage has already been showing up in other countries, so. Yes, yes Road she, Rage she is red and his tracks. You can go get her, maybe. I'll get so. two because I'm a lunatic person. All right. You'll have to explain to me later why you would want two. Shadow glass tracks. All right. See? I'll accept it. All right. Well, thank you guys. Uh, thanks to everyone in the chat uh, Randall, Phil, uh, Catherine. And thanks for joining us, and we will see you next week. All right. Thanks, everyone. Have a good night.